Let's deal with this guy, Paul. I, I, let, let's, and for those who didn't hear last week, let's kind of understand right off the bat, let's lay the foundation that Paul made the statement, according to the Bible, that everything he taught, he made it up. Right off the bat, let's establish that. So let's turn to Romans 2.16. If you guys don't have Bibles, just keep notes if you don't mind. Romans 2.16. If you have it, say Ashe. What does it say? It says, in the day when God shall judge. In the day when God shall judge. The secrets of men. The secrets of men. By Jesus Christ. By Jesus Christ. According to my God. Everybody say according to his gospel. According to his gospel. It says it plain as day right there in the Bible. According to his gospel. Turn to 16th chapter Romans verse 25. When you get it, read it. Tell me what does it say? Now to him that is of power. And by the way, we're reading from the book of Romans, which is also known as the Pauline epistle, meaning it was from the mind of Paul. Okay. What does it say again? Now to him that is of power to establish now you. Now to him that is of power to establish you. According to my gospel. He says it again. According to my gospel. Uh -huh. In other words, nobody else is saying this. This is what I'm telling you. This is what God revealed to me. Nobody taught me what I'm saying. I just want y'all to know that. I'm not, not, not saying Ray talking, this, I'm speaking as Paul now. Okay, Paul would have you know that nobody taught him what he was saying. He didn't go to school for it. He didn't sit at the feet of those who were taught before him. But this came to him from God. And you know how it is, especially with black folk. All you got to do is say, the Lord said, God, not even God, God told me to tell you, you know, I got a word from the Lord and we get, what is it? It's amazing how God can speak to other folk and you want to know what he said, but God can't speak to you. What's wrong with your ears? What's wrong with your heart? Okay? How about 2 Timothy 2 and 8? Hold on to your seats, family, because the, the scripture that she's about to read now puts a big dent in your belief system. I'm telling you right now. 2 Timothy 2 and 8. Remember that Jesus Christ... Remember. Now check this out. This is some deep stuff. Remember that Jesus Christ... Of the seed of David... Of the seed of David was raised from the dead. Was raised from the dead. According to my gospel. According to my gospel. Do y'all see that? Yes. You see, this is what you call the gospel according to Paul. Paul is the one who came teaching this. Remember that. Jesus was raised from the dead according to Paul's gospel. Now what's really deep is, I want you to see where Paul by his own words, based on biblical literature, tells you in no uncertain terms that I made all this up. Not only did I make it up, but I tricked y'all into believing what I had to say. So turn to 2 Corinthians 12, 16. Now I know that this is a little bit hard to digest, but like it or not, family, it's here. And it's amazing to me about this verse, we read, the verse we're really about to read right now. I've been in the church all my life 
and so were some of you. I was a Sunday school teacher. I was a youth pastor. Bible college, got my degrees. Seminary, got my degrees. Pastored a Christian church for over 25 years. And in all that time, I never noticed the verse that we're getting ready to read right now. No one ever brought it to my attention. I don't know how I read, I read it because I read through the Bible many times. But this verse, for some reason or other, I did not see it. And I guess I didn't see it because I was blinded by the indoctrination that I had been cursed with. 2 Corinthians 12, 16, what does it say? But be it so. Check this out, y'all. But be it so. I did not burden you. I did not burden you, yes. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Being crafty. Being crafty. I caught you with guile. I caught you. I fooled you. I deceived you with trickery. Y'all see that? Everybody say, ouch. Ouch. I know that hurt. Now here's the problem before going into the next part of this. If the Pauline message, grab this. If the Pauline message is a presentation of lies strategically designed to deceive the listener and make them believe something that's not true as though it is true if the Pauline message was designed to fool you, deceive you, and to catch you with guile, then that means that every minister who is today preaching the Pauline message is replicating or doing the same thing that Paul did. Yes. 